Good morning! It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. We've been going for about two and a half hours and uh, the rain has finally stopped, which is why I can break out the camera with water and electronics not being the best of mates. Um, you can see things have really moved on in the last couple of hours despite the rain um, and although this is a terribly untidy section thanks to roots and stones it will be tidier later um, you can see that we've managed to get quite a way down in the rampart so today i'm really fortunate and having a special guest in the trench I am, everything I've learned about archaeological field work, about excavation, about how to read soils, I've learned from two people. So Barry Cunliffe and Robin Bashford. Now Barry's not here today, but Robin Bashford is, and I'm really delighted to have him helping out in the trench. Um, very luckily, he sent me an email after seeing one of the earlier videos and said, hey, would you like me to come along and give you a hand? Um, it's really wonderful to have somebody who over the last 15 years has really guided my archaeological fieldwork journey to be here in the trench and I'm recording this while he's away getting the tea because he's a very modest person and probably quite embarrassed when this goes out but um, Rob's one of the best field excavators that I've ever had the pleasure to work with it's really great to have him here some of you may have attended the community excavation that Beacons of the Past did in 2019 and Rob ran that for the project um, so you'll know what I'm talking about fantastic excavator, fantastic archaeological communicator, although I'm willing to bet he'll save very little to camera. While I'm cracking on with the rampart, Rob here is working in the silt of the ditch. And um, Rob, do you want to say just a quick word what you've come across and what you've come down on, what you're doing? Yeah, sure. Um, it's pretty much at the moment, it's all 20th century rubble um, that's been dumped in here post-war I would guess um, and lots of roots but we're just coming back onto a cleaner looking deposit here which I suspect is probably going to be the um, either the original fills of the ditch or we're picking up the tail of the rampart itself absolutely fantastic uh, but once we get more of it uncovered it will become clearer and your star find of the day is this metal pole which I've no idea what it's for, but it's got a fitting on one end, but again. Some iron for an Iron Age hill fort. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're coming close to the end of uh, day three, essentially, of digging, day four of the entire project. Um, and uh, going down quite a ways in the trench, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But just to summarise some finds, um, we've been lucky enough to find just uh, a scrap of a prehistoric pot in the fill of the rampart. Uh, here we, again, it's probably not going to focus and show you this very grotty piece of prehistoric pot, age indeterminate. Um, but of course that doesn't cinch a date for the construction of the rampart. It could well be, even if it was Iron Age pot, it could have been kicking around the surface when the ditch was dug. If the ditch was dug in a medieval period, it could still have kicked up something Iron Age. So that scrap of pot, whilst useful, isn't the definitive answer. Um, you get a really definitive date if you were to find a coin but of course we know that at the time of hillfort construction in this area we really shouldn't be finding iron age coins they come much later however we have found a coin um, so rob's found a relatively modern coin in as you would expect the relatively modern silt of the uh, ditch which is still going through the 20th century stuff um, but more exciting than that even uh, is a tiny little shred of charcoal now Getting excited about charcoal seems a little counterintuitive, except in this instance, this chunk of cut charcoal was buried deep within the rampart. And that means that a radiocarbon date from that charcoal could give us a better clue as to the construction of the earthwork. And that's really the name of the game. That's the, that's the, the end goal for this project, was to be able to narrow that window between 1100 BC and 400 BC uh, for the construction of the site. So I'm very excited about that. Um, hopefully it is a sufficient amount of charcoal to uh, get a radiocarbon date from. And that's something we won't really know for a few months down the road, um, but it's a good start. Um, and in a little bit, I will take you around the trench and show you some of the stratigraphy. But for now, I'm going to make use of the dry weather still and get digging some more. Here you can see the stratigraphy of the core of the rampart. You can see the dark bit over the top. You can see all that um, flinty uh, clay sand that makes up the top part, the sort of cap of the earthwork. And then hopefully in that section, you can see below that 
where it seems to be a little less dense. It's uh, sandier, so that's the, the layer underneath. Um, we won't know exactly how all these sort of dumps and tips of material work until we get down uh, absolutely down to the bottom, but it's a good start. Uh, you can see we're, we're, we're gaining some depth, which is, which is very useful. And again, the lighting is a little better now, so you can see how that uh, Victorian pit that we had on Thursday is showing up in the stratigraphy as well. So let's walk down and look at what's going on in the ditch. And here, poor Rob has been struggling with these roots. He's done an amazing job. You can see they've now been cleared of all their soil and uh, they are largely unmolested. So we'll be looking after them. Um, what's come out of here, uh, we'll look at those in more detail later, but a couple of uh, coins from probably the World War II period. Um, and there's a large concrete slab at the bottom and we'll have to see what's underneath that. Hopefully nothing too frightening or exciting. But you can also see in the soils here, in addition to that dark silt that's coming out, we've got some lighter stuff coming up, which hopefully represents an older fill um, pre-war pre period, which means we're, we're getting down to the good stuff. So all to play for tomorrow, see what's revealed under the concrete slab. Uh, if the weather holds, we should make some really good progress. Yeah. Rob, has it been a good day? It has, yes. Yeah, roots aside. <laughs> and you're going to come back? Yes, I am. Excellent. Okay. So that's about it for today. It's been a really successful day. We've got two, potentially three, really good pieces of dating evidence already. Um, the stratigraphy is appearing at a rapid pace. Um, and I think it's been uh, really successful. So we're going to crack on tomorrow. I'm lucky enough Rob's going to come back tomorrow. I haven't scared him away with all the uh, tree roots. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>